Hello, welcome to Kazumi Chan Productions. I'm Chris. I run um, this channel. Welcome to it. <laughs> so, anyway, um, this is a for on how to do writing for your cartoon. Okay, last weekend, or whenever you're gonna see this, we had you. Uh, we had you. Just uh, completed our a script, and then last week we completed our, our spreadsheet. Then we got as far as uh, doing this girl. I added in some uh, small bone actions so that way it saves some time. May I just test this out? That looks okay to me. All it's left to do is the mouth. So let's go over to this mouth. And then let's close this mouth. Half open. Open. And then smile. See, this is according to the script that we just used. So what I'm gonna test out this regular first, and then the works. Okay, and that's work. And the math works. So this is the head, very nice. Let's give her a wave. That will work. Okay. So with that said, um, we're gonna complete our um, our work, delete the frames, save it, and then let's save it as a the girl master. So that way, if anything happens to this master, I do have the reserve in its place. So let's go through our, our spreadsheet. Let's actually copy out. Um, this one. Then let's go through assets. Little girl. And then we can just copy and paste. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. So let's copy this. And by the time that you see this, this will be like a month, a year, or something. And then 
Uh, the next lesson after this will be how to put the um, whatever we done here into uh, this section right over here. So let's go through here and copy this. I'm just making sure that the um, scenes are correct. Also, too, I'm gonna use this time sheet as our timetable for a cartoon. So, with each scene, I can plan out the next move without a storyboard. Um, because I'm pretty bad at storyboards. Don't know why. Check my phone. So save it. What's next? Shadow monster. Okay. So we can uh, go right to the sky. See this as a uh, This monster. Let's say, what do we call a shadow monster? Shadow monster. Let's see what we can call this shadow. version one so so we'll just save it as that and then um let's look at the script real fast of what we need Just making sure that uh, everything's correct. So, the only time that the monster will appear is in scene three. Shadow monster, okay. So that just means that we have, I'm looking for any actions. She look, she looks in at, at the monster that is casting its shadow on the ground. So what we need to do is just make a shadow for the invisible monster.
so let's go with the black color since it's a shadow. Thinking of just a blob. Sharpen this point. Now we just need to steal the weight of the monster. Um, the monster will have a head, so just give it a little head. Not like a pen head. <laughs> That's so funny. Thinking of brass shoulders for the uh, monster. Of course, it's just the uh, image. Oh, we got to have horns. The reason why it does it is because the cursor is too far away from the uh, vector image. We can also shrink down this uh, add to. the points go ahead and shrink it down because I'm trying to see about I've been intimidating. Actually, after this is done, we can edit um, the little girl to incorporate this uh, design to her head. Then we'll add in another vector layer called this eye eyes. I'm just doing this so that way we can um, easily s select the parts for this monster.
I might just want well to do with this one. I'm thinking that you should have big jagged um, teeth. Sometimes they will not. Of course, I'm just uh, speculating what I need. Being a beast, pop up certain that's perfect. Um, so then we can have two sets of. Uh, as the treasure instead of making multiple ones. Okay. Let's actually complete that. Um, I'm happy with the eyes, I'm happy with the shadow. shadow. It's supposed to be scary looking. on their spreadsheet. The shadow monster is completed so I'm gonna go on ahead and copy and paste it. Copy and paste. Oh, I forgot the asset. Hold on. the shadow monster appear anywhere else. The only other episode that we did not complete is um, the girl picking up uh, logs. But that's right, we can do that last. I really don't want to make a separate video. Oh well. We'll just copy and paste. So the last trick that we need to do is the girl picking up logs
let me bring it there. Master to the dessert. Girl, so. So it just open. Bergs. And then. Go through the master again. And then, uh. Correct this animation. And then let's. Uh, girl. Packing. This has to do uh, just some uh, uh, these smart bones. We can rename this as fucking. is um mm, I got to think we got to create her picking up some logs uh should I because we can just easily uh have her holding to mugs and you know, having her walk across the that be a lot easier than to uh just be doing the whole thing. Let's let you do that then. So what we'll need to do is just modify this um all thing so just go over to this front layer then turn Select the points again. And then let's uh, run through this walk cycle. That looks okay. That looks okay to me. So, can just add in a new layer. Call this. Logs.
for more vlogs. There we go. More. Setting your folks. Oh yeah. But I don't like how the arm is blocking the chest. So what I'm gonna want to do is just adjust this arm. Yeah, we can duplicate it. Um, back arm. the arm without um, worrying about um, there you go that's perfect let's see on the lock cycle I don't like how the logs keep floating, so I'm gonna make key frames. Turn this into linear um and then let's create a key frame for the layer. Reset. We'll pump this up. Just, uh, there you go. I like that better. Let's as you see when it goes up. So, I'm gonna Well, right here. Part twelve. Then we can uh, even That looks 
look there. So we can cheat a little bit in this rig. So she's carrying um, the logs instead of picking them up. We cannot just simulate um, her picking up the logs by zooming in on the logs, I think, and then uh, she's just looking at them. And then the next thing would be her carrying the logs what she is. So with that done, I'm going to just be saving this document. Um, that's all. Let's call this master. So that way we don't lose much of everything. Alrighty. So I will just log this into the log book. Copy. Okay, so with that said, it looks like we got everything. And the next weekend, I'm gonna just be a uh, We just combine everything into one cohesive story instead of just this uh, thing and using this uh, spreadsheet as my timeline. And before I before I send it away um, for the next video. In this series, I'm gonna um, be creating the timeline. So, we'll have seen one. Let's also grab this uh, blue color for. Uh, color and then sing apart sing part oh what I'm doing do you see these actions right over here? These are where I marked out the whole thing for, for every action within the scene. So the action, for example, for uh, for someone, if we could scroll through up here, uh, scene one. She's going to get some firewood. So that would be our scene one, one A and B would be our, then she is looking through the for some, for some logs. So then that would be our end of our um, scene. But before we actually start writing out, like, for example, like, she gets scared of the monster, blah, blah, blah. 
We need to time out that stop the nursing before we start animating through the stuff. Same parts. And then now uh, we got this ready. And then the last one about to be time. Because it would be called Sin or S C one A. No. Then time would be like, hmm, I'd imagine three seconds. No, actually, that's why I want to create a um, new series. So that way I can uh, go through the process of going through everything that we created and then listing them as um, a cohesive story. She goes, so this would be like five seconds long, so, for example, five seconds, five seconds, so then that way we can go, oh, okay, this has to be five seconds. This has to be four seconds. Because every scene is it's going to be a two uh, minute cartoon. So the timetables have to be match to about two minutes. Ready? Thank you guys so much for watching this. And if you're new here, please um, subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Hit the like button for me, that would be much appreciated because it shows me that you like my content and encourages me to do more content just like this. Anyway, guys, see you later. Bye.